let's understand what is method chaining the concept behind it and how you can implement it in python pandas now often once you import your data into your jupyter notebook you are going to be doing a series of data wrangling activities for example you might be renaming some of the columns you might be splitting a column into two different columns or changing the data type of certain columns or even creating entirely new columns as it is multiple different activities happen one after the other and if the number of data manipulation activities are increasing your code can get cluttered very easily basically the number of lines of your code can go higher and as a result it becomes more difficult to read relatively so what you can do is instead of having all of these steps as individual standalone statements you can combine certain steps into one single function call that is made possible using method chaining so as a result of doing this method chaining your code becomes easier to read it's easy on the eyes and it becomes compact and more organized so these are the advantages but there is a main disadvantage to it that is it is harder to debug that is you cannot stop your code in between the steps and examine the values of the variables in between so that is a disadvantage to it so it is a matter of balance between code cluttering and code readability and of course losing the ability to debug certain parts of the code all right so what is method chaining so imagine we are having this particular data frame which is property crimes here we are renaming columns creating a subgroup name like new column here converting the data type of certain columns again creating a new column and this is also creating a new column right all these activities are happening as part of data wrangling now let me run this after doing all these steps you are getting a data frame here now instead of having multiple steps like this you can combine them all and have them in one single function call this is nothing but method chaining so what i am doing here is i am defining a function inside this function i am reading the file first then renaming it using the dot operator using dot rename i am renaming it and then i am using this pipe method to call another function that i have defined here to convert a particular column to a categorical data type that's what is happening within this function i am calling this function using the pipe method i am calling it again three times three times i am calling the same function using the same pipe method but on different different columns and finally i am using the assign method to create the new column for our data frame essentially i have compressed all those activities in this lines of code right after defining this function i'm just calling this function and giving this argument this requires the file path argument right giving this argument that will give you the output now the main component here to make this work is the pipe method how this works is this takes in a function and this function because you are using pipe this function should take the data frame as the main argument the first argument should be a data frame it can take additional arguments also that the user provides but the first argument is always a data frame it should take a data frame and it should always return the same data frame or the processed data frame so if you look at it at every function every step of this chaining the data frame is the input and the data frame is the output this is required for this chaining to work properly even for assign the data frame is the input and the data frame is the output this is the core concept behind method chaining the only disadvantage is if something goes wrong if this throws out an error you cannot stop in between you cannot stop in between this step and examine the values of that particular column at that point in time that sort of debugging is not possible to do with this but based on the error messages that you see out of your console it is still possible to debug what is going wrong with your chaining function let's run this you get the same data frame output 